Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Aries Sun Moon and as well rising weekly tarot reading August 26th to September 1st, uh, 2019. And just bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we're gonna jump right into it. Right, that's good enough, I think. And uh, the first card, which stands for the topic of your week, is going to be the Tree of Wands, followed by the second one, which stands for the challenges that you need to face here. That is going to be the Six of Pentacles. Afterwards, it is the third card, which stands for the uh, positive aspect of the week. And that is very peculiar, by the way. Um, we do have the Tree of Pentacles and all comes to the fourth card for what it seems here and that is going to be the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. That will be the Queen of Pentacles. Very interesting, uh, very interesting reading for you, Aries. Uh, it is interesting because um, the Six of Pentacles and the Tree of Pentacles in this case as a follow-up to the Tree of Wands kind of severely contradicts each other and uh, well, basically, what what says is that from from one side, you know, you you even though you may have help with your endeavors, that help is not gonna help you at all. While from the other stand, um, it points that you are gonna have a support through your development. It all comes to the Queen of Pentacles, and this support is not in regards to your. Um, new goals or new aims. Uh, that support will only affect your current ongoing enterprises and endeavors. So this week, for what it seems here, it is all about you establishing your positions, all right, and building up the foundations. But before we go into it and scrutinize the reading, let's run the cards one more time. The first one, which is the topic of your month, of your week, excuse me, is going to be the Tree of Wands. Followed by the next one, which is the Six of Pentacles. That is the challenge that you need to overcome here. Afterwards is going to be the uh, Tree of Pentacles, which stands for the positive aspect. And the last one is going to be the Queen of Pentacles, which refers to the guidance that Tara is offering to you. All right, so Tree of Wands, it is a, a typical card where one uh, kind of like reaches the, 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 the very maximum of... Um, of one's potential into the current position and now one it has to kind of like challenge oneself you know like challenge oneself to acquire new skills challenge oneself to to push one's relationship beyond its current stage you know probably it could involve uh moving in together you know it could involve a girl again as well a, a thinking about proposing for a marriage and these kind of stuff the whole point of the tree of wands guys is that <clears throat> while one sits on a, a very well established patterns one first needs to secure those patterns and then and while securing those patterns one should start thinking of how one can 
challenge oneself in order to improve oneself because the growth and improvement of the tree of wands it is only when the pushes pushes oneself beyond the established current limits so from that standpoint it does look like that you can perform much um how can I say, uh, much better than you are performing right now into your career or you can be much happier into your relationship as well. It all comes to that, how willing you are to step from this or to, yeah, to step from this comfort zone that you are um, right now, all right, and provoke newness into your life, how determined you are. But before that, like we said, you need to think about how you can secure your current possessions. The accompanied card here is going to be the star card and the formation. It is a active friends that we do have. So the star card obviously promises hope and a long-term fulcrum that one can follow here with the tree of wands, especially with the tree of wands, all right? It promises as well unfolding love and promises unconditional support, but that unconditional support only comes when one have a clear fulcrum, again, there is a very thin line here and I cannot stress you enough. It, uh, while you may kind of feel that you are at the very, at the very maximum of your current, of the, of the potential of your current position, you may as well be a bit scattered in regards what you should go for from now on, all right? And that's why this week should be uh, you being focused upon solidifying your, your current position while maximized, okay? And then think about how you can challenge yourself to grow even further. The next one uh, refers to the challenges that you need to overcome, and this is the Six of Pentacles. Now, because I saw the next cards, all right, now I know what the Six of Pentacles is about. It is about the when you figure out how you are to challenge yourself and go for more simply, you may kind of like it, you may be tempted, tempted, excuse me, to ask for help, someone to help you with it. Well, here the Six of Pentacles stands for that, that even though you are to find a lot of people to help you and a lot of organizations as well and etc, etc, at the end of the day, it really is going to come to how well you are going to perform as an individual. Therefore, it does point that while a help could postpone certain negative uh, it's not even negative, let's say, unpleasant symptoms, or, or although a, a help could a little bit improve your quality of life, at the end of the day, the help is not going to resolve the, the, the plights or the predicaments, you know, or the challenge itself, and it is you who needs to push yourself instead of relying that someone is going to make it for you. The accompanied card, it is the Six of uh, Swords formation. It is a, a passive enemies that we do have. So now it's completely understandable. This, it, 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 that help, it is not like you really need it, but it is more like a encouraging a, a, a oneself or rather like kind of like breeding yourself a, a courage knowing that, you know, you do have someone next to you that could uh, help you in case you are to go, uh, you are to start falling. I don't know what kind of an example to give you. It's like, let's say that you, that you just get your driving license. And I remember back in the days, um, as soon as I get my driving license, I was working, I, I, I needed a car. And, um, you know, when I first sat on my car, alone had to drive in the very traffic it was very very stressful and i was feeling much more comfortable when i have an experienced driver next to my seat you know uh that's kind of like tells me you know how should i uh, approach certain situations and while this driver couldn't drive for me you know i was the one who was uh, yeah, driving the car yeah i was feeling more confident having him next to me so it, it's like that you have your you have someone who is going to breed confidence within you but at the end of the day it is up to you to to pull the thing through now the next one is going to be in regards to the positive aspect this is going to be the tree of pentacles and that continues the the, the support that we talked about from the previous card here uh the tree of pentacles while it's um contradicts with the previous card and kind of deprives you from a physical support in a sense of that although physical support may be present like we said it's not going to really help you in any way it may postpone you know certain things you gotta face but ultimately at the end you have to face them anyway 
However, uh, Tree of Pentacles points that you are to have a lot of fruitful discussions, all right? And like, uh, I would say, uh, like a uh, work out a uh, corporations, kind of like a uh, trial and error kind of corporations, just so you can find the best way how you can cope with these new challenges, which you are yet to uh, place in front of yourself. And like said before, that will going to um, solidify your confidence to a much greater extent. The accompanied card here, it is the uh, devil card formation. It is the uh, passive supporters. So it's very important here throughout those uh, meaningful conversations. And it's not even a negotiations. It's more like a uh, taking up... Um, people's opinion in being able to extract only the what is going to work for you from those from those opinions from the people you are going to become very powerful with this uh, with these particular cards being capable to navigate your own life let's say or or the the the, the lifeline of the situation itself the longevity of the situation so for in my book looking at these cards uh, aries you even though you may start a little bit reluctant you know <clears throat> approaching those new challenges for yourself you are going to very very quickly get a grasp on it and uh, you are going to get the hang of it and quickly you are going to find yourself in control and the last one is going to be the Guidance, which is the most important card in this reading in my book here. Queen of Pentacles. What does it tell us? It tells us that before you actually strive toward the new challenges which you are to place like a fulcrum to yourself this week, you first need to up to a 100% solidify your positions. Very important, All right? So for example, if you are going to challenge yourself to go for a promotion or to go for a new project, okay, into your career in order to prove yourself capable and worthy for a new promotion, you need to be a hundred percent sure that all of your previous work it is done, right? And it's simply it's finished. Okay, you shouldn't leave anything unfinished before you jump into those new challenges because first they are going to consume all of your time and also they are going to consume all of your uh, all of your means and all of your skills as well it will require a lot of dedication the accompanied card of the queen of pentacles here it is the two of pentacles <clears throat> formation it is a, a passive uh, passive supporters once again and so with the two of pentacles to the queen of pentacles it does look like that you also can be very uh, i would say brilliant with your strategies many outdated concepts that you may have for the for how you want the things to happen are gonna lose relevance just because for for a few reasons one of them that comes to my mind here is that you are to see a better way to do things all right or that you may thought that something needs to go to a perfection all right but when you started it out the perfection was one thing and now as you proceed with it the perfections become something much easier to achieve okay and so the whole point here is that you're going to find it much more easier to uh, undergo the process of consolidating your positions, you know, should you uh, be more playful, be more carefree, be more creative rather than being stubborn and yielding in regards to your plans and criteria. So that being said, Aries, this was your weekly tarot reading, August 26th to uh, September 1st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.